Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PDCG Live Paradox Rift deck video. So I've been experimenting with some Maridon decks. I, you know, I streamed an online tournament with one recently, and I've been enjoying playing Maridon. I've been trying it out, and I thought of the idea of playing Darkrai V-Star in Maridon. You're probably like, why would you ever play Darkrai with Maridon? There is no synergy in here. You're not playing any dark energy. Well, you're not trying to attack with Darkrai. You're just using the V-Star power, Star Abyss, which allows you to put two item cards from your discard pile back into your hand. So basically, Darkrai allows you to get back electric generators for free. You're basically able to get six generators off in a single match. And that's the idea behind the Darkrai because Maridon does rely very heavily on energy. Obviously hitting the energy is very important, especially when you're trying to go for a big Raichu play. You're trying to get that turn one, turn two, Iron Hands EX off. And that's where having the generators are good. And sometimes just being able to get an extra generator for free with Darkrai is worth it. Now it is a one, one line um, and it doesn't really do anything in the deck other than just try to get Generator back, but it is the soul of that strategy. And I do like the idea of the Darkrai V-Star. Um, I guess the only other merit you can do is, like, you can attach Flaffy to it and, like, Dark Pulse against Roaring Moon if they frenzy gouging you or something silly like that. But for the most part, you're just trying to abuse Darkrai V-Star just to get back Generators. You can also get back other stuff if you're looking for Super Rod, which we do play a one copy of. If you're looking for a Switch or a Rope or something, you can always Darkrai for those cards. But, of course, the main target with Darkrai's V-Star power is Electric Generator. Darkrai V-Star might get a lot better with our Temporal Forces set coming out as we are getting a lot of really new powerful Ace spec cards that at that point, maybe Darkrai will see some play. So I kind of want to get my testing in with Darkrai now because who knows, Darkrai might end up becoming a 1-1 line index in our next format with all these new powerful items coming out. Um, other than that, it is just, you know, it's a Maridon deck. It's got all the Maridon cards in it, the Raichu, the Hands, the Raikou. I am playing two Hands and two Raichu mainly because we have access to six Generator in a game hopefully with Darkrai. Like, ideally, we have access to six energy, right? With that being said, that means you should be able to attack multiple times with either Hands or Raichu if need be. It's a bit easier to do that when you have access to the double generator with the Darkrai V-Star. But yeah, before we get the video show too, the sponsor Card Cavern TCG is always, if you're ever looking for any PDCG Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Council is code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set like the main set, Paradox Rift, or you maybe want to get some older sets or some IRL Pokemon TCG singles and product too, Car councils, all that over there. If you can't think of Car Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF to get yourself a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Car Cabin. So shout out to Car Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF. Check out the Shuffle Squad down below and my second YouTube channel. I just did a video where I looked at all the new cards that got revealed, some new EXs like Gengar EX, three new A spec cards got revealed this week, all kinds of content on that second channel. Definitely go check it out and check out the podcast channel, the Mental Might Pod down below too. So here is the list once again. So I cooked this up on one of my live streams I did when I was playing the Maridon deck and I like the idea of it. Darkrai is very gimmicky. I know, hey man, I'm all about playing the weird stuff. I'm, I'm all about trying different combos, bro. And this is a combo that has some, you know, it's got merit to it because sometimes you're like, okay, I need to use Raichu this turn to win the game or take this big knockout. In order to do that, I need generators. And that's where the Dark Ride comes up. Some other nice cards in here are EXP Share. EXP Share is very good right now, Maridon. It was in the top eight list from Portland that Nick Moffat played. Because Generator and EXP Share go great together, especially with Raichu. So we are playing a couple of EXP Shares um, to try to get energy. We're not playing Forest Seal Stone, mainly because we're playing Dark Ride V-Star. Though, a Forest Seal Stone wouldn't be a bad one if you want to play it. I am still playing a Double Turbo. This is a fantastic card to play in Maridon right now because it lets you use... Iron Hands even easier on the first turn of the game. If you can find the double turbo, get a generator, hit two energy, attach double turbo, turn one Iron Hands is very doable. So we are going to be playing that one of DTE. You can also use it with Mew. Um, one Raikou, two Maridon. This is what Nick Moffat played. He also played two Maridon, one Raikou. The only other card I want to play is Tapu Koko EX because Par Paralysis is really good, especially if you're playing against something like Charizard, which... Ideally, the strategy against Charizard is you can try to go turn one Iron Hands, either Raichu the Sard, or Raikou, Boss, Pidgeot, Lumineon, or uh, Rodom for game. So that's the ideal game plan into Zard, but a, uh, a Tapu Koko makes the game plan against Zard even easier. But a lot of Zard decks are now playing a one of Switch, so uh, the Tapu Koko is not as good. You don't play Path in this deck. I am playing at one Collapse Stadium. I'm not sure I like this card, but I'm, it's basically just here to get Darkrai and Squawkabilly off the board. If we ever need to, like, remove Darkrai after we use it, we might as well just dump it with Collapse. So I am going to play that one of Collapse. I don't think this is necessary. Honestly, this is probably cuttable, but I am just playing it here just because I want to be able to either use abilities because um, it's bumped the path, but also allows me to remove... Um, like a dark eye off the board after I've used it and it's useless We can just dump it with clap stadium though. I'm starting to think it's not really necessary, but I am gonna play it anyways um, In the list, uh, but yeah, that's it for the list. We just have four research to Iono three boss one Arvin 
wouldn't mind trying to maybe play another draw card, a second Arvin, a Judge or two could be kind of cute, I guess. We're playing 14 Lightning and that Super Rod, which can also get us back energy in a pinch. It's times where you can go Super Rod plus Darkrai. If you're able to do that, that's really good because you can go Generator, double Generator with Darkrai, Super Rod three energy back before you do that and uh, increase the odds quite a bit of hitting energy. But let's go show off this deck and hopefully get some action in with Darkrai. Again, this game, Maridon hands are real, folks. This is not the best start ever, but uh, we do have Squawkabilly. Speaking of Squawkabilly, my opponent also has Squawkabilly. This might be a Roaring Moon deck, if I take a guess, which it's good that we started Marie. So yeah, we have to hope that we don't prize Squawkabilly because this hand is unplayable otherwise. I can't even really do anything with Mew if I don't draw a good card. So we're hoping that we're chilling. And it is indeed a Roaring Moon deck, judging from the Dark Energy. Ooh, it's the Thornton build. They do actually get rid of um, two supporters. Well, two Sadas, but a Thornton which is good. So we take those. It's actually decent. They are going first. And the fact they lost two Sada is also good. We'll see if they can find another Sada for next turn. Well, they do have a pretty good turn here. They can Ultra Ball, get rid of the Iron Hands and the Dark Energy for Moltres. Yeah, I guess they have Mew. We'll see if they have like a Four Seal Stone. We're hoping that they don't get Sada and stuff, but we're, we'll see. Hmm. All right. Hopefully we don't probably squawk a Billy. Do another light. Bro, I play 14. How do I draw so many? It's crazy. All right. Thankfully, Squawkabilly is in the deck. We have to give up five energy, though. I, I don't understand why we had a five energy in our hand. But all right. Let's Squawk and Seize. Please. The Squawk and Seize didn't really give me too much. Hmm. We can go Mew. Got Darkrai. Can Ultra Ball. Darkrai V-Star is in there. We can grab Maridon. Okay. We can Mew. Mew, Mew, Mew to the rescue. As long as we don't have the Iono them, obviously, because I don't want to do that. No, we just find more energy. Seriously, why am I drawing so much energy cards? What the heck? That's crazy. Seriously, what is... How have I seen six lightning energy? That's crazy. See, these Maridon hands be trolling, bro. Maridon hands are real. Now, let's see if they have the Professor Sada. They have two in the deck now. Potentially one's prized. See if they can do it. They can probably fish this turn for it. There's Pokegear. Can it find one of the two Sadas I have left? It, of course, does. F. Not good. Oh, they get rid of it. Wait, they get rid of it? They have another Sada in their hand? I mean, that's good. That would be three Sadas down the drain already. I guess they could attack with Moltres here, but then I knock it out with Raikou. Or Maridon, depending on what I draw. Hmm. Oh, they just pass. Okay. Hopefully we can draw something here. Do you collapsed? It's not terrible, actually, but there's nothing to collapse away at the moment. Might have to be another pass. I'm surprised they didn't play Sada there. I guess they didn't have energy in the discard, and... Oh, my God. I'm not even going to buy... I, I could play the collapsed, and I can get rid of the Squawk ability, but then I lose access to the Squawk ability with the experience share. Because I at least can keep an energy in play. And I'm already down 6 energy right now. This is, or 7 even. So that's not good. We are burning energy really quickly. I have went through not even much of my deck. And I've already burned through all those energies. This is a, just a cursed game. Another energy. Okay, at least we can take a knockout. This actually isn't that bad. We can finally do something. Am I really about to let go of the Squawk ability? How much do I value this? Because I can use Raichu next turn. Kind of what I'm thinking. Hmm. No, I'm gonna fleet footed. I don't know. I I value the EXP share. Okay, we got an ultra ball anyways. That's good. Yeah, I kind of value the EXP share here. Um, because it is a pretty good card, so we'll keep it. We can Mew for two. What do we got? Beach court rope. That's not bad. All right, <laughs> this game is cursed, but we are at least able to take the first two prize kill, which is huge. Both of us have had really bad draws, potentially even the classic Maridon Roaring Moon draws, but we are going to get the first two prize kill, and we just got to make sure we can keep it up every turn. There's an Iono. Finally see a draw card. The other thing to note about this situation is we don't have... We haven't played a single generator yet, but I've already burned through eight of my lightnings. I have not even... I've barely gone through not even half my deck, and I've already seen eight eight of my energies. That's, like, not good. But we will figure something out. 
Yeah, they should be able to take a, take a KO here. They can get a Pokey Stop, obviously. But yeah, we just need to make sure we're taking a knockout every single turn. But I am down a lot of energy right now. Even if I find a generator, there's no guarantee I'm even going to get an energy. Because I'm down so many. There's Pokey Stop. Are they going to roll it? They need to get Sada. They got his Vessel. For once, they actually got a decent little Pokey Stop. They're out of Sada. They have... You can't see it, but they are out of Sada. They have burned through all four of their Sadas. That's really good. All right. Well, they still have Dark Patch, obviously. And we are going to have to Iono my opponent here. So there's that, too. We can attack with Maridon next turn. We'll see if my opponent is able to do much. No, they just knock me out. So we can go take a knockout with Maridon. And then we have to make sure we can come in with a knockout with potentially the Raichu to wrap this up. I think that's the plan. We still have Rod in the deck as an option. So, like, if we ever need a bailout turn with Dark Ride V-Star, this is where it's going to be good. Ooh, nice. Good, good, good card. All right. So we have the guaranteed knockout here. Zapdos, I know, is in the deck. Let me just check my counts. We have two. We prize two generators. We have four energy. The Super Rod is in there, too. All right. We got stuff. We are cooking. We are indeed cooking. Let's go do that. Do that. Put that there. Lyono. All right, we're looking for stuff. I haven't played a research yet, so I'm bound to find one. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we hit Super Rod. Good card. That'll help us with the electric generator here. Take the knockout. I'm going to save the rod. Oh, well, maybe I should have played it. I don't think we're getting Iono here, but I'm going to save the I'm going to save the rod. I should get one of my two generators off the prizes or both of them lucky. Now we got one. We got Maraid on generator. That also would work for us too. All right, we might not even need Dark right here because we have the Maridon generator combo. This is just a weird game. This is just a weird and wild game. Both of us have had some pretty lackluster draws this match. All right, let's see if they can do anything. They have to go in with Roaring Moon this turn. Their best action would be to try to get a Capsule on it. I don't think they're playing it. Bravery Charmer Capsule. They need to give that Roaring Moon extra HP because I am going to win the game potentially with another Maridon end. Considering my current hand, it's looking pretty good. They might also have the Calamity, or yeah, they might have the Frenzy Gouging, which would just wrap it up too. I guess they could go into Greninja for a turn, which is maybe what they're doing here. No, they're going to the moon. They have the attack. Do they have a stadium to knock me out? No, they have another moon. There's one card in their hand. What's that one card? No knockout. Oh, they Frenzy Gouging. All right. Well, we just need two energy to win here. We need one off a generator. Because Frenzy Gouging actually bypasses EXP share, which is actually pretty annoying. Raichu is actually the easiest way to win. Because then I just win flat out on the spot, but I didn't get a Raichu. We got our third research. Okay. We should be able to get an energy. We can literally super rod three in the deck. We just need one energy off this generator and we win. What? It whiffs, dude. No. <laughs> oh, my God. If this actually ends like this, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, no. We... Oh, folks. We got to go for it. All right. You know what? Dark Rise in the thumbnail. It's in the title. We got to do it, baby. Let's go. We got a Dark Rise. We got to get back Super Rod and Generator. And you know what? This actually does give us decent odds of getting the knockout. All right. Watch this. We're going to Ultra Ball. We're going to thin the deck out. We have four energy in the deck. All right. All right. We get Super Rod. We're putting... We have seven energy in a 21-card deck. We just need one energy to win this game. Thanks to Dark Rise V-Star Power, getting back the generator rod. We just need one energy, and there it is. We just barely squeak out a win here. What was this game even? I don't even know. Thankfully, Dark Rise V-Star quite literally just saved us. We struggled to find generators. We played one generator that entire game without using Dark Rise. So, like, that was scuffed. We just, by the skin of our teeth, got there. Because we only hit one energy, which is insane. I was expecting at least two. But there you go, folks. That's the dub. Pretty insane match there. I mean, that, that that's a classic case of Maridon bricking. But that, those are some clunky draws. Darkrai literally won us the game. Without Darkrai, we were not winning that because I whiffed a generator off of that research. All right, not going to lie. This hand is pretty insane. Ooh, we're up against Charizard. Hmm. This is definitely a matchup. I don't know if Darkrai is in the deck. We're going to find out. This is definitely a matchup where Iron Hands is going to shine. All right, two energy. Darkrai will be good because we can get energy back, which is relevant. Okay, let's see what we got here off this. No, I need that. No. Oh, unfortunate. I got to squawk the dark ride. That's like, dude, come on, really. I had to draw that. F. 
I didn't get anything for next turn other than an energy for Iron Hands. Not good. That's really unfortunate we had to lose the Dark IV Star. <laughs> Come on, I needed that, bro. Okay, we'll have to try to super rot it back. Because Dark IV Star is really good in this matchup. Because it lets us do Raichu plays out of nowhere. It's so annoying we had to lose it. See if they have anything in their hand. They might have to just do Call for Family. And the idea is we want to go Amp. Amp Raichu. Amp Raichu Raikou. We want to go knock out a two, knock out a one prize with Iron Hands, knock out Charizard with Raichu, or Boss Kale Pidgeot with a oh, Lightning type. It's easier to do that when you have Dark Ride, but yeah, we lost it. We're gonna have to try to get some good prizes here. That's uh, super unfortunate. My opponent just does call for family though, which is fine with me. They didn't do much else, which is interesting. They can just literally get like Rodom Pidgey number two here and just probably have it for next turn. Shouldn't matter too much. We'll see though. I need to find Super Rod. That's my priority. Get Rod as soon as possible. Okay. Arvin gets me there. I mean, it would be nice to get energy back too, though. That's the thing. Nice double energy generator. Let's go. Big hit there. Hmm. Okay, I'll do this. Play the Arvin... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go Rod. I actually don't think I'm going to play it, though, because I can save it for a turn, which honestly is probably what I should do. Yeah. Save it for next turn to get energy back. Okay, we got Research and Iono. That's good. All right. Turn two, Ampy very much. So we can Rod Research next turn. Go from there. Try to ride to them. We got double XP share. We have a really good setup right now. What's our two prizes? Bravery Charm and Energy. Bravery Charm would have been so good to have on the Iron Hands. To be fair, though, um, I don't know if there's any to be fair moments. We just want to go, yeah, we literally just want to go Raichu, Raichu boss for games. So we just want to take out Charizard and then Pidgeot. Can they get Rare Kitty, Pidgeot, Rare Kitty Zard? If they don't get Pidgeot on play, it makes things a little awkward. But there's a world where I can get another Iron Hands. Again, when we have double double generator back with Dark Ride, when we can get six generators in one game, it's very possible to still pull off an Ampy very much. Two two turn two turns in this match. That's the plan. If I had Bravery Charm on here, we'd be chilling. We'll see what that. We'll see what they got in their hand. They don't get a Pidgey on play. It's a little awkward. They gotta get one eventually, though, because my opponent can't just sit here and not get an energy in play. They gotta get one eventually. But we should be able to ride to this dark this Charizard. I almost called it Darkrai. They could boss me this turn. That'd be a bad idea, because then if I just have a boss, I don't have a boss. But if I did, I would boss KO Pidgey or Charmander. They kind of have to kill the Iron Hands here. It's the biggest threat on board. Rubber gloves? What? Yo, the technology? Okay, wow. I mean, it doesn't actually make a difference in this matchup. Actually, now it does, because now they can one-shot my, my ride on. Okay, what the heck? The rubber gloves? Okay, that's... Yeah, I've seen it all. Ironically enough, that's kind of bad for us, because... Yeah, they can, like, one-shot my ride on if that was the plan. I could probably ride to them this turn, but... uh, Yep, rubber gloves. Sounds about right to me. Okay, I'll stand him unit. Yeah, we have the other iron hands. We could honestly do double hands this match. It is very doable. Rubber gloves. <sighs> Shouldn't matter, right? This bravery charm is useless because of the rubber gloves. Dude, that's hilarious, bro. What the heck? And of course they just had it in there. Like, what the heck? Alrighty then, rubber gloves it is. Let's go. I might need that for Flaffy. Yeah, I'll just do that. I want to keep an energy in the deck for Flaffy. Well, I, I was going to discard one anyways. Okay, should I put two back? Nice. Let's go. That's a good hand. All right. So, can Ultra Ball. I could get Dark Eye now. I could do Dark Eye Flaffy. Uh, actually, I don't want to lose this boss. Hmm. Let's go Flaffy. It's fine. We get more value out of the Flaffy here, I think. We whiffed. Uh, uh. Okay, we have to get rid of this. That sucks. Yikes. Still have our last boss. We got to find that for game, potentially. It's actually really unfortunate we had to lose the... Uh, we didn't hit on the generator there. Hmm. All right, Dark Eye V-Star. Star Abyss. Let's go. Let's get 
two of these. I could get Super Rod back. So I can have another Raichu for next turn. That's not even terrible. They might not even have another Charizard, to be fair. Double Generator, or should I go Rod Raichu? I could also put Energy back in the deck for the Generator. Still have another Generator. Do I like this more? Honestly... We could play the Rod right now, though. Put some Energy back. Instead, then go one Generator. Knock out Charizard with Raichu. What's better? The only problem is I have a Pidgey on play. I can't just boss super easily. I might need the double Raichu, but I can't do double Raichu. I, that, we should just get double Generator then, I think. I don't know. Okay, we got one Energy. There we go. Get two Energies. No Energy. Okay, rip. Maybe I should win Rod Generator. I have to give up all my Energy to kill this Charizard, which is a little rough. All right. Not great. I've got to lose all my energy here. We got value out of Darkrai, though. Darkrai did allow us to get this knockout, but at what cost? Because now we have, like, no energy in play. And I don't have a way to boss for game, unfortunately. So it's not great, to be honest with you. If only we... Like, I would have preferred to save Darkrai there. There's the other Raichu. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to get this KO. If I had a Coco maybe in the deck, we could two-shot. Yeah, I don't know. It's not good. Do they just have another Rare Candy's Art in their hand? Because it's easy to find, apparently. Do they have it? If they Rare Candy's Art, it's bad. If they don't have a Rare Candy's Art, we can maybe do some chilling for a bit. Hmm. I don't like this. That rubber glove sucks. Because, like, I honestly could probably could have went Maride on there and just prayed they didn't have a boss. It's not an option now. They have Radiant Charizard. That's not good. That can attack this turn, actually. They have a Fire. They don't even need a Charizard. They can just put Fire Energy on and... Bruh. No! Not good. Hmm. Not good, not good. It really is going to come down to whether they get a Rare Zard or not. Nothing I can really do about this. How many generators do I have left? Maybe. Oh, they... Oh, they're not going for it? Wait, what? Okay. Huh. They're not taking the knockout here with the Dark Ra or the Radiant Charizard. That's interesting. Ironically enough, I can't attack them unless I get a generator, which we do. Now I'm going to need the generator to hit, though, in order to make this work. All right, generator. We need one energy. I don't know how many energies I have in the deck. We're going to find out. Just give me one energy. All right, sick. Still not boss, though. But I have rope, which can maybe win me the game next turn. Yeah, I think we're okay. The fact that they didn't go Radiant Zard there is very bewildering. Should I play this Clap Stadium? Get rid of dark, uh, Squawkabilly. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't go Radiant Zard there. Maybe they just didn't want to risk it. But now I can't get killed by the Radiant Zard because I have the Bravery. Now they need boss. Like, yeah. That's looking pretty good. I have rope in hand. I have game in hand if they don't get... My opponent basically needs to get Charizard in play next turn. Or else I just want the escape rope. Even if they do get Charizard. I don't know. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I need my boss. I haven't found my last boss yet. It's somewhere in the deck. Okay, sure, they of course had that. Casual, just having everything. The stones, they had that one of vacuum. But the one card in their hand, as long as it's not like a research, it should be okay. Is it a research? No, okay. That will be GG's. Thanks to the double EXP share here, we are going to be able to save our stuff. So yeah, I guess they didn't really have anything in their hand. Maybe that's why they didn't go Radiant Zard, but I don't know. It was pretty lucky, though, they hit the freaking the lost vacuum. That was actually kind of funny. But we got there. We win... We have one energy left here. Oh, we drew boss anyways. All right, sick. So we would have had game if they didn't win there anyways. Close matchup for sure. Um, this is where I wish I maybe ran a uh, a Coco EX because they didn't really get to set up much, which obviously was pretty good for us. They didn't really get a great setup here, which helped us out. And uh, thanks to the Dark Ride, we were able to get some generators. And uh, that's how you do it. Dark Ride V-Star, baby. The technology is real. We beat Charizard, which... Can be tough, but again, we went hands, Raichu. Ideally, it's hands, Raichu, plus boss Pidgeot, the following turn to end the game. Or boss Pidgeot after you go Ampy very much. We're against Serena EX. Um, I was not expecting to see this. I think this matchup's honestly fine, though. Because we can just, like, use Raichu. I don't play Switch card, which is actually a big deal. No Switch card make make this tough. I don't know. We'll see. We can we just play smart. It should be fine. We have Iron Hands we can attack with early on. 
Is that the play? I don't know if I can do Iron Hands. I don't want to overbench, because I do need Raichu to win this game. Hmm. This guy, Rikini Serena, can't do that. Honestly, yeah, I don't know if we can go for the... If we can go for the Iron Hands, it's gonna Iono. That feels bad, because I might just give them everything they need, but if I get the knockout on this bounce sweep, that'd be nice. Now, we did hit Double Generator. Damn, maybe I should have went for the, uh, the Iron Hands. Yeah, maybe I should have used Iron Hands there. Look at that, we even got an energy. Maybe should have went for the Hands, because maybe I could have had it, but that would have committed a lot of energy, so I don't know. Collapse Stadium... Let's take this knockout, I guess. We'll see if they play Spirit Tomb. I kind of need to rely on Fleet Footed here. This hand is not the greatest. I currently don't have a Maridon. So let's see what our prize is. What do we got? We do get a boss, which is good. Is that, that is one other way I can get around this, is to use boss's order, which is what I'm going to have to do. As long as they don't use Vanellux, we can boss around the Serena, which is what I'm going to do. And then we can nuke Serena with Raichu. That's going to be the strategy here. I don't know if Darkrai is going to be great, because we do have a very limited bench. But I might end up using Darkrai just to get the generators back because I am going to have to use Raichu in this matchup. So we'll see. And they did unfortunately hit the Irida. Like I said, I owned them into that. But we can boss KO potentially Bibberol next turn, which is what I'm going to do. We'll see if they have Vanilla. They have a, they mentioned a Vanilla. I'll boss knock it out. Either way, we're doing boss. Or we can hit the Serena. Oh, never mind. They have Panic Mask. We are not hitting the Serena. Hmm. Wait, is Panic Mask only damage? Prevent all damage. Okay, we could technically use genome hacking to copy Icicle's soul for what it's worth. I don't know if this is going to matter, but that could be an option, actually. Yo, are they going for the world's greatest skull bit? No, they're not. Okay. Yeah, we could technically genome hacking them. Probably not great. Hmm. Breaking's not great either. What do we draw? Research. That's good. Tell boss, KO Bidoof. Uh, attach that there, and then we'll just landing Rondo for the knockout. They're probably gonna Ice Cool Soul my Mew, but then we can we can still copy Ice Cool Soul against them, which is pretty funny. All right, I'll take out their Beedoo. That basically just cripples their Drongen. We get another boss. So if my opponent goes for another Icicle Soul, we can go boss here and knock out uh, the other Bounce Suite, maybe. That's an option. Well, I gotta watch out for Iona, though. We'll see if they either go for the knockout on my Raikou or they Icicle Soul me. Another Irida. Oh my god. Who needs Bibberol when you can just draw the nuts? No. They get another Serena. I could go boss hit it with Lightning Rondo. Might have to just do that unless they have anything else. In no way they just have the stones like that, right? I got rid of their Bidoof, man. They didn't do any draw cards. They ain't even Squovet. We'll see what they got. They're going for the world's greatest Squovet. If that gets an energy, that's a little crazy. No shot. What's that What's that one card going to be? Hmm. I Skull Soul. Okay, they don't got it. Let's go. So we can boss the other Serena here and then hit it with Raikou. So we have the KO. Ooh, look at that. We got the Raichu. Huge. I'm going to Fleet Foot it first. Another energy. Okay, we'll attach to Mew. We'll boss Serena. I really don't like that. I have to bench Zapdos. I need to do some damage. I need to two-shot this thing. So I'm just gonna, I guess I could have went like 150 into like Mew next turn to copy Trop Kick, I guess. I mean, that's what I should have done. Whatever. It is what it is. I don't want to overbench, but we got to be mindful of that. I still have Collapse Stadium to like free up a bench space. Okay, no shot. They have a Switch. I know they have Skullvit. They have a couple of years. They've already burned two. No way they get a Switch. If this Serena actually moves. Oh my God, they got a Panic Mask. Jeez. Of course, that's their hand off of a Skullvit for one. Every time, bro. What? Come on. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Oh, my. The world's luckiest Serena player. Wow. That's insane. That's not good. Okay. I might have to ride you this early. That's absurd that they hit that. That's crazy, dude. They actually they would get Panic Mask Chorus. Okay. Do they get an energy? Well, the energy doesn't really matter, I guess. But do they get an energy? We could attack with Zap, though, so they don't have an energy. They have another Panic Mask. Finding all the masks. They're nest dashing again. All right, what's this going to be? This, this school bit's on crack. Is it going to get another good card? No shot. Oh, my God. They would get an energy, bro. Come on. What? <laughs> you got to be kidding me, bro. This school bit is cracked, bro. What the heck? That's dang. That's crazy, bro. All right. Well, we're going to have to go Raichu. If this whiffs, it's actually really bad. 
Okay, good. I was gonna say, if this Raichu whiffs, we could be cooked. I'm just gonna research. I should have switched, actually. I don't want to lose. Well, it doesn't matter if I lose the energy. Okay, we got Flaffy. There we go. That's something I was looking for. Fleet-footed. Each court. Okay. So now the Wincon is just KO with another Raichu. That's the plan. As long as we don't bench lock ourselves, we can go for the big Raichu play next turn. I gotta remember we can Mew. Man, I should have saved that, actually. Well, it doesn't matter. We can Flaffy next turn. It's not a big deal. All right, let's just Dynamic Spark. So they have, what, 160 HP left? Need to get rid of three energy? That's not bad. We can go one, two, three? I kind of want to keep the energy on the Zapdos, just in case. Because they're just going to hit this anyways, obviously, right? Let's get rid of these three, sure. Okay. And now, as long as we have the other Raichu in the deck, we can knock out the Serena with Raichu. Or we can go Mew, put it down to low HP, and then knock it out with Dynamic Spark. I guess the other strategy could have been we could have went Mew, copy Icicle Soul. If they don't heal, then I could have Iron Hands this for three prizes. So for whatever reason, I had three prizes left. I actually could have went for the Iron Hands three prize KO turn. So that's cool. All right. Do not tell me Skullvid got them something good. It got them an energy. All right, whatever. Sure. That's fine. The world's greatest school of it. That's crazy. That school of it is on, like, it's on something, bro. That's crazy, dude. They're, like, they're drawing, like, one card a turn, and all those one cards seem to be the best cards they could have got. So I can't win this turn specifically, but we can set up the other Raichu if it's in the deck, which, again, I can't remember, but we're going to hope that it's in there. Oh, Beach Court. Save the energy. We'll go here. It's probably, like, fresh Raichu, them. If they get an Iono off of these next two cards I get to see, I am going to be a little annoyed. No way they hit an Iono, though. I'm just going to go on a limb and just, just YOLO it. There's no way they're going to get an Iono off these next two cards. All right. So we can copy Icicle Soul because it's not damage from an attack, so it bypasses, it bypasses this, which is kind of sick. So now this thing dies to even Flaffy. So that's pretty funny. Let's see the god. As long as they literally don't rip an Iono off of a Skullvit, which as long as they don't do Skullvit here, they aren't going to get there. We should win the game. We'll see. They go for the Skullvit. They got Bidoof. Are they going to bench it or are they going to Skullvit? If they Skullvit into I in an Iono, they might buy themselves a couple turns. Okay, good. All right. They didn't do Skullvit. They didn't even bench Bidoof. All right. So we have game. As long as we don't prize the other Raichu, we have game. Raichu going to be prized. Find out another episode of Maridon. The Chew in there? Yeah, he's in there. Let's go. That's GG's. That was a wild game, bro. They got some pretty lucky hits there off that Skullvid. Like, I took out their b for a reason. But thankfully, in the end, we still got them with some strategic plays. That's how you beat Serena. Just literally just don't 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 bench stuff. It's that easy. Just, just don't poke Pokemon and play. And the matchup's pretty good. There you go. That's the dub. Interesting matchup. Um, being able to copy uh, Ice School Soul is kind of sick. So there's a lot of really cool things we could have done there. We didn't get to use Darkrai. In fact, the V-Star was prized. And I probably wouldn't have used it anyways because it clogs my bench up. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to keep my bench open. That might have been the ideal bench, to be honest. Mirai or Raikou, Double Raichu, Flaffy, and the Mew. And then whatever else I wanted to bench, like Iron Hands. Up against Roaring Moon. Wow, a lot of Roaring Moon on the ladder today. Our start isn't terrible. We have an Iono. Ooh, there's a booster capsule. That's pretty scary. And they have a battle VIP pass. So they're going to be able to set up here. We need to draw a way to get a one prizer in the active. It's probably going to have to be the play this turn. Go into Zapdos. Why? Well, you don't want to go into Zapdos. But if they have booster caps on, maybe it's okay to go into Zapdos. I don't know. It's probably not a great idea, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. If I go into Mareep, they'll kill with Marpeko, which is a little sketchy. I can't knock out their active unless, like, I get the most insane dynamic spark turn, which probably won't happen. And they got a good squawk ability. They got two dark in the discard right away for the Sada, which is not good. There's another capsule. There's a concealed cards. Oh, boy. We have an Iono, but I don't think that's going to do anything. They got a double capsule in play, which is kind of scary. We could go Sacrifice Mareep into Iron Hands could be a play, though. 
So I don't know if I want to lose Zap those. To be fair, though, they just got a double caps on play. And a Kala. Holy moly. That's like a turn one. Jeez, that's not good. <laughs> that's like the perfect turn one they could have asked for. Hmm. Maybe going into Zap those is okay. I mean, the they got the double caps on play. So, like, Maridon can't kill the moons anymore in one hit. So, maybe going into Zap those is actually fine. Because now we need potentially Raichu to kill these. We'll see what happens. I could try to swing it with Maridon still with a charm. But I need to draw Maridon, which we don't. We do get a Beach Court, though, which is actually a really good top deck. Okay. We'll just bench the lads, I guess. We could force them to... Could go into hands. Even if I just arm press, we could force him to frenzy gouging, which you know what? This might actually just be the play. Yeah, and then we'll styona. We just need a generator and like some other cards. We still have a, the squawkabilly. Nice. That's pretty good, Iono. We'll nest ball. I do have Dark Ride V-Star, right? Okay, good. And I got Flaffy. Kind of want to get Marie, but I gotta bench everything here, so. Is what it is. All right, generator. One energy. What you mean, brother? I got no two prizer in play. I'm committed to this play. Hmm. I need one more generator here. Come on, Mew. Help a brother out. That's not a generator. Hmm. I can thin out. I might even need that. What do I... Th I guess we can get rid of the Raikou. I don't think I'm going to need Raikou in this matchup. I think it's the most unlikely attacker at this point. Thin. I just want to thin. All right, give me a generator. Oh, I whiffed. Oh, that sucks. I whiffed the generator. Yikes. Not good. Increase out the sacrifice iron hands here, potentially. That sucks. We got Darkrai. So we can get generator back. That's not good, though. Whiffing the... Whiffing a generator there is not good. We did do Squawk plus Iono, and we only found one generator. And the generator only got us one energy. So we are unable to attack Roaring Moon. Getting the arm press off would have been nice, because we would have put some pressure on them, so... It's very unfortunate. We'll see if they get the, the soda here and stuff. It's not looking good, though. It's not looking good. We'll see, though. We're hoping they whiff soda. If they don't knock me out for a turn, that would make me very happy. I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. Crazier things have happened before on this game. Crazier things have happened. We'll see. Yeah, I need, I need hands to live a turn. That'd be nice. Honestly... I might be able to attack with Raichu next turn. I can go Rope, and they either give me a one prizer that I can knock out with hands, or I can go Raichu, blow something up, and if any, if that goes well. Assuming they don't knock me out this turn. Did they get a Sada? No, they got two energy. There's one that, oh, they have an energy switch. Damn it. No, they hit the knockout still. Not even with a Sada. Ugh, that's annoying. I need more generators. Maybe they'll just Calamity Storm me, though. No, they're, no, they're, they're going to knock me out, most likely. We'll see. We'll see. If they try to knock me out, I could try to get an Iron Hand set up again. Just try to, like, hit him with an Ampy very much. Take three prizes. Maybe that's the win con, then. Try to use double Iron Hands. Because, yeah, they are Frenzy Gouging. With the Dark Eye, I maybe might go for this play, then, actually. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of tempted to do this Iron Hands play. Knock him out with Ampy very much. Force another Frenzy Gouging out of them. I don't hate that. All right, what's our top deck? Iono. Don't really want to play that. Okay, that's my ride on. Could knock him out with Zapdos, I guess, too. Do I have my Super Rod? The hand play could theoretically work, but it might just be safer to go Zapdos this turn, obviously, and just attack with a one prizer. Yeah, I think Zapdos is fine. Maybe then I want to Iono. So they don't, like, do, like, a boss play. But they probably can do a boss play. Hmm. Huh. Kind of like this. We can go Zapdos, Knockout, plus Iono, put them to four cards. Hope that they then don't get a boss and they're forced to knock out a one-prizer. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. If worse comes to worse, we'll have to Dark Ride for a generator. Or we just find another generator in the deck. Okay, we got a generator. It's all good. One energy. All right, looks like we got a Dark Ride. That's fine. We can Dark Ride for two generators and... Try again. It's fine. That's why we play the Dark Cry. Because now we can get two generators out of this. Can we get value? We're going to find out. Okay, there we go. We just barely squeaked out the attack with Zapdos. Okay, generator. There we go. Two energy generator. Let's go. Okay. 
kind of wish I had an EXP share here. That would have put in the icing on the cake. All right. Let's go knockout. All right. This is good. Now, I hope I didn't Iono my opponent into a god tier hand where they can pull off a boss knockout. They can get it like an escape rope, I guess, which could be bad. But, hey, man, you got to cut your blessings where you take them. Not bad. This is why the Dark Rai is good. Look at that. Dark Rai just got us four energy into play. Pretty cool stuff. There's a town store. That's not good. That can get them a... Uh, that can have four seal stone, which is bad. Yikes. Okay, but they have the, like, Sada. It's not as bad, though. If they have the Sada here, it's not as bad. I do need to get... Um, I need to get Mareep down. I still need to get Flaffy in play, which I have not been able to do yet, which kind of sucks. No way they can pull off the boss with that four-card hand. Even with the four seal stone. Oh, they have an energy. No! Stop drawing so well. Not like this. Oh, God. We got to hope we don't get knocked out here. It's not looking good, though. No, they got a dark patch, dude. No, are they going to get the two-prize knockout? If they got two-prize KO here, it's looking pretty grief, to be honest. Well, I can go Raichu Iono, I guess, but I just... I don't want them to knock me out. That would be very bad. It would not be good. Let's see if they can do it. They need... They need a... They have a combo piece in their hand, and they can pull up this knockout with Roaring Moon with a boss thanks to the Forest Seal Stone. I mean, if they do that, we can Iono them back, which is good, but it's, like, it's scary. If they stay in the active. We could top deck a boss here and then just knock out Roaring Moon with Raichu. That would also be really good. No, they got an Ultra Ball. They just drew the stones off my Iono to four. Not like this. Are they going to boss me here? This is not good. Don't do it. Please don't do it. If they can do this without having to play that four seal stone, oh, we're cooked, dude. Actually, so bad if they can knock me out without having to play the four seal stone. That is not good, man. What are they doing? They got the Luminion. My own to four still gave them everything they needed, it looks like, to eventually pull off a boss KO. They should be able to do it. Okay, no, they, they, they saw it. All right, good. They could get an escape rope, though. But then we can give them Dark IV Star, which then they have the Frenzy Gouging to knock out. So that actually kind of works out a little bit. Okay, they can't boss. All right, I think we... I think we survived the turn here. This is where I really wish I had EXP share. EXP share would be so good here. That sucks. Hmm. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get this knockout with Raichu. To be honest. We can Iono them again. But I don't, do I even want to... I don't even know if I want to Iono. Hmm. I only have... I have two Jennies in the deck. I want to get Marie. Do I want to Iono... Honestly, I might have to. They have a Luminion in their hand. I don't want them to build up another moon. But I might I might want to research so too and just try to draw as many cards as I can. I don't think Iono's a good idea. I need two energy to knock him out. So I would need two generators, or I need one generator to hit two energy. I think we just gotta full send this research. Okay, there we go. We hit a generator. No, just one energy though. Oh, uh, we whiffed the knockout. No, dude. Whiffed the KO on the the moon. This friggin' ancient booster capsule cheese. I got no rope either. Hmm. Not good. Not good at all. That was a very bad whiff. And I can't Iono next turn or anything either. Not good. I think this is uh, the end of the game, to be honest. It's not good. If I had, like, a Bravery Charm on here, I guess we could have done something, but we'll see. They need a stadium to knock me out. They should be able to find a stadium. <sighs> Best I can do is this. Just hope that maybe they can't do it. If I had another Iono, maybe we can do something. But they could just set up another Ruin Moon here, and it's like, there's nothing I can do. I think we do just lose this game, unfortunately. Unless they whiff a stadium. If they have to do Frenzy Gouging, maybe there's a chance. But I probably can't win anymore either way. I can't really do Iron Hands. I don't know. It's probably not going to work. We'll see what's up. Why well, do a ball? I have, if they have the Frenzy Gouging, I have Game in Hand. So if they whiff the Stadium and have the Frenzy Gouging me to knock me out, I do have Game in Hand. So that's my only option here. I just got to hope that they can't... They don't have a knockout with the Stadium. They've only played two Stadiums, though. They still have the Force Seal Stone. So yeah, it doesn't matter. They still have that, actually. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we lost. They still have the Force Seal Stone. The only out was to an Iono, maybe. Iono, play the forest and then hope that they don't have it. Not looking good. Yeah, 
Yeah, they still have Ninja 2 to draw more cards. It's not good, dude. It's looking like it's over. That was a big whiff there. Yeah, they could just attack with the other Roin Moon, too. They don't even need to use this guy. Okay, well, we'll see. I can't even win with Iron Hands because I whiffed the knockout. Yeah, it's nothing I can do. We got really unlucky here. Nothing nothing really went our way this game, unfortunately. We had some pretty bad Jennies with. Even though we used Darkrai, which helped us a little bit, it just wasn't enough to stay in the game. And in the end, it's going to cost us the game. Even with the support of Darkrai, wasn't enough. The double generator came up, but we just couldn't quite get there, it looks like. And I think we're just going to take an L here to Moon. We'll see, though. Because I can... I attack them... I don't know. If they frenzy gouge me, I, I, I just lose anyways. There's nothing I can do. It's it's checkmate. Maybe take it to sudden death, but I don't know. If I had Iono, we can maybe go to sudden death, but I can't even do that. Did they... Yeah, they can just force steal stone for stadium. They don't even need to... They don't even need to do, like, frenzy gouging. The force steal stone is really annoying. Yeah, I'll scoop. We lost. I, I'm just going to concede. There's nothing we can do. We basically just lose that. All right, we have some pretty crazy matches in today's video, but I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here with the Maridon Darkrai deck. My little experiment Maridon Darkrai combo is pretty cool. Again, being able to get access to potentially six generators in a game is good. Um, being able to just get back items in general with the ability is good. And who knows, maybe Darkrai V-Star will have a home when the new A spec cards come out. Of course, keep in mind, Darkrai does allow you to get A specs back like Prime Catcher. Um, the new future and ancient ace spec cards. Definitely a lot of tools for Darkrai to abuse. And I definitely like the idea of this deck. It's a bit of a gimmick, but it does have some merit to it. Um, and I did like it. The only thing to change, I would probably like to play another draw card. Maybe like a Judge. Wouldn't mind either playing a Coco EX in here too for the Zard matchup. A Coco EX wouldn't be a terrible idea as a one of. Even though Zard's starting to play Switch now, a one of Coco would be nice. But yeah, I like the deck. Try it out yourself if you haven't already. Maybe make some changes to it. Maybe add another Flaffy line. I wouldn't mind that either. About for me, if you enjoyed the video on Maride on Dark Ride, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 55,000 subs. Share a card comment down below. If you have any codes, use CarlDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, the second channel, and the pod. All linked down below. That'll be for me. Hope you enjoyed, and bye bye